Hey everyone, my name's Tom from WPWithTom.com and today I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on TMD hosting. Hey everyone, in this video I just wanted to go over how to sign up for WordPress hosting using TMDHosting.com and TMD hosting stands for the most dedicated hosting and they really are great with WordPress hosting for an affordable cost for fast website service and for just overall great support on their website they have phenomenal support and I suggest that you even try to contact or support with any questions that you might have there will be a chat box in the lower right of their site before you sign up if you have any questions or concerns they're very fast to help you 24 7 live chat support you don't have to wait 20 minutes to talk to someone or you can just call them right here as well as another option. I personally use live chat support when I talk to them and they're just super responsive and they have all the answers to the questions that I have. So I imagine they would have the same for you. And I'm going to go over how to sign up for their hosting package here now. So if we go to WordPress hosting here, we'll go to this page and it will say it's fully managed WordPress hosting. Right here it says there's a 60 day money back guarantee which is awesome. And if we scroll down a ways here, we'll get down to where the pricing is. And there's three different plans that they have, which is kind of standard for hosting websites. And here they have the starter plan. This only includes one domain name, but you can have up to technically 256, I believe it is, subdomain names. And if you really need that many subdomain names, then something's probably wrong in reality. I don't know anyone who's had more than maybe 50 ever before, and that's even a lot. So you have the ability to have this one domain name, but a subdomain name would be something like blog.wpwithtom.com. That would be an example of what a subdomain name is. So if you want to have that, you can't have just a regular donate, domain name like wpwithtom.com. You only can have one of those here. So that is something to keep in mind. If you have a business, for example, and you are only going to be running that business and making a website for that business, this is a great option for you. But if you might be developing for other people and other clients, I would say that this business package here would be the better option because you can have unlimited websites hosted. And then also it comes with a 60 day money back guarantee, as it says, but the wild card SSL, and that would be used for basically e-commerce type websites and things like that wouldn't be available on this package so it is better to sign up with this even if you only have one domain name that you need an e-commerce website for and they can answer all these questions that you might have but I just wanted to go over that now I think this plan is the best plan for the average person the business plan here so once we go down and we click sign up it'll prompt us into a new page that opens here in a new tab and we can go through signing up for our domain name and we get a free domain name which is awesome here because a domain name usually costs around $12.95, $15, something like that. So here we can just sign up for one for free and you can choose whatever domain name you would like. And then once you're happy with it you'll hit this proceed button here. I believe if you hit enter it doesn't go to the next page. You actually have to hit proceed. So now we're at the next page and in this part I'm just going to fill out this information and it's my own personal information so I'm going to blur it out real quickly and pause the video while I do that. And after you're happy with your information being in there you can go down to the payment information section here and in this payment information area you can pay with your credit card or pay with PayPal if you'd like. And here you're going to want to input your card information but actually before you do that I would actually go to where it says the plans here and I would make sure you choose this first. I would recommend that you do not include the privacy for your domain privacy option here. It's $10 a year and I really don't think it's necessary. How many times do people look up other people's domain names to see who owns them? I don't think it's very often and I honestly don't care if someone knows that I own that domain name. The only people that are trying to hide things I feel like are really big corporations who don't want their information out or maybe something like a somebody doing something illegal really which I hope you're not doing anyway so let's just leave this unchecked in this case and I would recommend unchecking that as well you don't really need any of these options and you can learn how to implement them going forward here for this part right here this is important though 
you want to choose the data center nearest you. So I live in the USA, so I am going to use this one, the Chicago USA one. But if you live in other parts of the world, say London or Tokyo, you may want to choose that instead because it will increase your website speed or improve it compared to just having it as Chicago here. Right here is the payment period. And this is also very important because it said the plans can be 585 a month, but if you do one month, it will be 985. If you do 12 month plan, it will be 685 per month. And you can easily upgrade this at any time. It's totally optional. If you wanted to just test the water, something you could really do is sign up with a one month plan here. And then you can actually use a coupon code that I'm going to give you. It's called WP with Tom. And then if you apply it, the total will go down 5%. You get 5% off. I believe that's the biggest discount that anyone has at this time. And I'm giving that to you to try to help you get set up for a little bit less. So it would be 936 it comes out to in this case, just to get started with your domain name of your choice. So that's a great option for people to start for very cheap. And then if they're happy with it, they can simply just contact the support here and then upgrade to a plan that's less costly per month if that's what you want to do and commit to a year or two years. And that's kind of how I would recommend you go about it. But it's totally up to you because you do have the 60 day money back guarantee and you can take advantage of that. But I really think you'll be happy with this hosting plan and I wouldn't be recommending it if I didn't think so. So after you're happy with that, we're going to um, fill out this information up here and I'm going to just skip past this and I'll do that in a second off camera. And then after that, you'll go to where it says, I agree to the terms of service and you can read them here and then you'll click check out. I'm going to pause the video and get to the next step in the process after I do that. Alrighty, so I just put in my information above for my payment information. I'm going to agree to the terms of service and I'm just going to click check out for my one year here of the WordPress hosting. And now I have order confirmation here. It says, thank you for your order. You will receive a confirmation email shortly. And then it says, click here to go to your client area. We're just going to click on that right now. And here, this is a pop-up. We don't need SSL right now because I'm not going to be making a e-commerce site in this case, but I am going to go through how to set up WordPress here. So now on this page, we'll just want to scroll down here and we'll see where it says cPanel login. We'll want to choose the name or the domain name that we just set up and we'll just click login here. And now we're going to be logged into our control panel and to install WordPress on this, we need to use a program called Softaculous and Softaculous is basically just a way to install apps and we're going to go into Softaculous and then go to WordPress right here and click on that. And on this page, we can just go and simply click install now for this WordPress install. And we want to choose our, we want to have this information remain the same for these first two. And then right here, you want to delete this WP right here because we don't want our directory to be going to that WP. We want it to just be blank. So, Next, we can go down to our site settings and you can change this if you'd like. We can change this at any time within the WordPress dashboard. But to get started, you can just leave it as is or you can change it to whatever your site name and description is. I wouldn't worry too much about this for right now and I'm actually going to leave it as is because I can change it later very easily. For your username, I never choose admin as my username because it's a lot less secure. And I'm going to actually just write my own name, Tom Johnson, and I will make a password you can you can have it generate one for you or you can make your own I'm just going to go and make my own password here and then after I'm happy with that I want to change my admin email you can have it go to wherever you want I'm actually just going to put it as my regular old Gmail account for WP with Tom and now you can go and choose a limit login attempts like Loganizer, this kind of plugin. We can go into other security plugins. Last I checked, Loganizer wasn't even updated for like seven months or something. So I'm not about to install that. And I can go over different ones that we can install going forward here. And next, we can just go and click install down here at the bottom. And it will go through the installation process right here above.
and now it says congratulations the software was installed and we can actually go and access the site using this link is our sign in link right here so you're going to have your domain name dot com or dot net whatever dot org and then it will say w slash wp hyphen admin and that will be how you log into your site every time so i'm just going to click on this link right here and it actually doesn't take us to the login screen but if you wanted to go to the login screen you could actually type this in after you log out of your account you could go log out and then type this in but i kind of would suggest that you save this in case it's your first time and you're not used to this forward slash wp hyphen admin and now we have wordpress installed so if we wanted to we can look at our site it's going to look blank right now but that was a pretty easy install process and this is our blank slate to start working with i hope this was helpful in learning how to sign up for tmd hosting and also to install wordpress and get started here if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me